All right, good morning. Um, so we've been packing up all morning, uh, getting stuff for the trucks. Everyone's eating breakfast right now, um, but we're gonna be heading in just a little bit to go watch the cheetah run. So that's gonna be something they're gonna do for us at the CCF. Uh, but yeah, I mean, everything's packed up. We're just eating breakfast. Ready to get going on the day. We go to Atosha National Park today, so I'm so excited. So over here we've got some breakfast, coffee, bananas, toast, some cereal, and Nutella, all the good stuff. How was breakfast, Drew? It's good. It's a spot. <laughs> Alright, so we are currently walking over to the Cheetah Run. Absolutely gorgeous morning. Absolutely gorgeous morning. This place is so nice. Waking up in Africa every morning, it's like... It's like something you can only dream of. I don't know what it is, but it's just so gorgeous. Every single morning. Two females and one male, they normally do well, but again, they are cats. We don't force them to run or fast them a day before, so it's basically up to them to run. So you guys will be storing that human enclosure over there. As you go in and out, there won't be any cats in it. But we advise that you stick together and please do not stop here. And then once you're in the human enclosure, you're welcome to move around. But please do not run. Do not crash down to take pictures. Remain standing at all times. If you crash down, the cheetahs will get distracted. They'll tend to focus more on you. And then any loose items such as backpacks, camera bags have to stay in here for the duration of the run. This is because I'm wearing this meat pouch and it has meat treats in it. So they kind of confuse your bags as having some treats in them as well. Alright, do you guys have any questions? Drew, where are we right now? Where are we? Yeah. We are inside the CCF Cheetah Conservation Fund Cheetah Run Enclosure. And in moments, moments, we're going to have three cheetahs doing 70 kilometers an hour racing around this course. We're going to be taking videos. Hopefully they won't jump into our little box over there. Awesome. Those cheetahs were so cool. They ran so fast. Honestly, like I'm shocked that they only ran for so long. Cause I, in my head, I'm like, oh, they're in the wild. They run so fast and they run forever. But they only ran like one lap and they were done. That was crazy. Yep. yep. Was so, so awesome. Crazy. I know for real. All right, we are in the truck headed to Etosha National Park. I'm up in the front with my man T, of course. Well, first, we're gonna stop at the supermarket, get some snacks and drinks. I'm definitely gonna be getting an ice cold Red Bull. But yeah, I'm so excited. We've got about three hours of driving before we're gonna be at Etosha. But the views, of course, are gonna be amazing as they always are. And me and Tanasha are going to be up in the front jamming to some music. So it's going to be great.
right, my friends, we are here in Ucho. Uh, everyone just walked inside this bakery. So I'm gonna head inside there, see if we got anything good. We're also at another spa doing some supermarket stuff. I'm probably gonna grab a nice cold Red Bull. I hear they sell really good coffee in here, so we'll find out. So we're here in the bakery. I just ordered an iced coffee. They've got some really nice pastries in here. That looks super good. And then over here they've got some pie. No, thank you. What do you got, Drew? Well, this guidebook is really good. All right. Especially as people, it's four bucks U.S. It's got all the breweries. Everybody oh, keeps wow. asking me. I don't. It's right there, and it's like it's also like. A map of the park. Okay. So where we're going. It's, not, it's good for four bucks. Like once you're in the park, you have a sense of like. I might have to get one of those. Everything. I'm assuming we can't bring one of these home, right? Um, I have some. So we've got all these things. This is all really cool. We are back on a spar. Oh, this one looks pretty nice. This one's actually really nice. Yo, what's up? Do they have the cider from yesterday? I didn't try any. So I was I gonna to buy, buy some. some. I was gonna <laughs> buy some because it was actually stupid good. Just a lot of sun. It's, it's very hot. Yep. So we just stopped there to do a bit of shopping uh, to add on our supplies. But just behind me, you see the Gimba women. <laughs> okay. Yes. So you see how reddish they, their appearance is. Um, a type of lotion they use. Mm -hmm. They mix a uh, red orchestron with um, fed from cattle or goats. Oh, nowadays as well, they tend to mix as well with uh, Vaseline. So that will give them a bit of a nice reddish appearance. All right. So with that question... No, I need to um, take a picture of them and pay you for it. And pay them for it. They want me to take a photo? Yeah, only if you want. How do I decide who to tell? I'm already, I'm already vlogging, so we go. Oh, why don't you go for like a <laughs> All right, just met the Himba people finally. <laughs> It is very interesting, very cool to see how other cultures are. All right, we just finished shopping around. We're hopping back in the truck. Uh, I got some really awesome stuff that I can show to y'all later when we get to the hotel. We are staying in a hotel tonight. It's gonna have a pool. I guess there's also a bar. So it's gonna be a really relaxing night. Uh, hopefully I get some good sleep. I was having trouble sleeping on the mat in the tent. But I actually overslept last night. I forgot to set my alarm. And I woke up and had like 30 minutes to pack all my bags. So I was in a rush this morning. But we're about an hour away from Atosha National Park. I am so excited. So excited. It's going to be amazing. We are back on the road. Me and T jamming out here to some Ariana Grande. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's gonna be so amazing. We are here at 
Atosha! Oh, this is amazing. We just have to go through a checkpoint first. Alright, so we are in Atosha. They are everywhere. First giraffes of the ocean. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. So cool. All right, everyone, so we just arrived at our hotel, Ocaqueo. Uh This is gonna be our only night in a hotel, but it's in the Tosha National Park, and there's actually a water, water hole, which is signed for it right there. So tonight we're gonna be seeing a lot of animals, and we actually just spotted our first elephant right before we came in here. So that is so amazing. We've got the best guide around. We've got Iron Chef T, best guide around to show us everything. But we're gonna all have hotel rooms tonight and it's gonna be so awesome. And I can't wait to show all of you how it goes. All right, we are currently setting up for lunch. We got Mr. T. Yeah, Cutting up some food. Some food. <laughs> like some, and uh, you know, got something. To... <laughs> oh yeah, we're all hungry. We're all hungry. Set up right here. But while they are cooking, I'm gonna go check out to the gift shop. And the water. So coming up here is actually the pool. I'm definitely gonna be spending some time there tonight. It's gonna be a great time. I'm currently looking for the gift shop. All right, well, the sprinklers are all starting here right now. So this right here is the pool. And this is a restaurant. And over there is the bar. Oh, I like that. All right, just finished lunch. I had a ham and cheese sandwich. But now I'm walking over to the water hole to see what we got here. I heard we're probably gonna see some springbok and zebra. We have not seen zebra yet. So that'll be really cool to see. So I think, I think that this is the correct way to go. Oh yeah, there's a lookout over here. I'm sipping on a Savannah premium cider. I tried it last night, so good. So good, doesn't even taste like alcohol. I love it. Let's see what we got. This is an extremely dry part of Namibia. So during the day, you're not really gonna see many animals 
walking around just because it's so dry. Once it starts to get a little cooler out, which is relatively speaking, uh, that's when the animals will start to get out and start moving. So, yep, there is definitely water out here. I think right now I see some springbok. I don't know if that's a springbok that I'm looking at right there. I'll have to take the big camera out. It might very well just be a springbok, but we'll take a look. I do not see the zebra that everyone was talking about earlier, so it must have moved along. And yeah, this is amazing. All right, everyone, how do we feel about staying in a hotel tonight? <laughs> what do you think, Liz? How do we think about a hotel? <laughs> How do we feel about a hotel? <laughs> Thanks, girl. So good. <laughs> so good. Are you excited to finally stay in a hotel? Oh, yeah. It's all the same. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> My shoulders hurt so bad. You excited for the hotel? Uh, excited to get in a room. It's all right. So <laughs> Not a lot of positivity coming out of there. <laughs> How do we feel about finally staying in a hotel, everyone? Shower. You all sound exhausted. I, we're a little exhausted. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I did have a coffee. Though. Love the what do we think about a hotel? Yeah. Woo. Open this up. Malone, we are no longer in a tent. Tonight, <laughs> in Animal Science 690, we're at the Atosha National Park. The largest and most um, full of animals park in all of Namibia. And we are upscale. We've been sleeping in a small, you know, canvas army tent. But tonight, I think we've got a room fit for a king. <laughs> all right. We've got real beds. A real fridge. We have a toilet, a warm shower, and an actual fridge. Very much an upgrade from the previous nights. All right, we are out on our second safari of the trip. This is gonna be an, an afternoon safari with the best tour guide in Namibia, Tanache. We're definitely gonna see some really good things. Tanache promised me we wouldn't go in until we see a lion. So that's what we're, that's what we're gonna do tonight, right, Tanasha? Oh yeah. <laughs>
so this is so cool. Right now, we are right in the middle of an elephant graveyard. have been here for nearly two years now. Look at this. Oh, these elephants. That is amazing. was one of the most incredible things I've ever seen in my life. All those elephants just getting together in that spot. So, so incredible. That was amazing. But this one only found here in the park, the black faced impala, endemic to Namibia. So these are females that you see here. The males, you see them with horns. Females, they don't have horns. Alright, we are coming up on our first zebra of the trip. It's hanging out all by itself up here. And on the left we got some springbok. But right here, we've got a nice zebra. You see the left rear leg, the hind leg. I don't think he's going to survive for long. The kids are going to get this guy. Yeah. 
That's a male. So, that zebra is severely wounded and most likely will not be surviving much longer. So, in the jungle, survival of the fittest. If you're not fit, fit in the jungle arena, you die. So when you look closely on uh, the horns, you see some have very thick horns than the other. The ones with the very thin, thin ones, those would be females. Males have a bit of thicker ones because of fighting, so they need a bit of uh, thick horns. They get to give each other nice jabs with those ones, so they need to be strong enough. All right, guys, we're coming up on something huge right now at a water hole. Something huge. Oh, having a baby. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Wait till you see this. All right, guys, here it is. Look at that. A baby and a mama rhino. That is absolutely incredible. A baby and its mama. size of this baby, I would say maybe a year, a year and a half, about 18 months old. Roughly. Gestation period on rhinos, 15 to 16 months. And babies are weaned for about three years, they stay with the mother. Poor eyesight, but active sense of smell and hearing. We are back at the hotel. Um, I think I'm just missing the sunset. I'm trying to get back over to the watering hole that's here. Let's see what we got out there. But water holes were very successful on our drive. We saw something at all of the watering holes. So, got about 20-ish minutes before dinner, so I'm gonna go see if I can see anything. There's no animals out here right now, which is kind of surprising given the time of day. But regardless, still an incredible view. But we'll be coming back tonight. We're gonna be out here a while. All right, it is time for dinner. 
the restaurant. She's out there. I don't know what that was. Are we excited for dinner? So excited for dinner. I'm I heard the service here is really good. She's lying. <laughs> we are all seated uh -huh. here at dinner. Uh -huh. Capital D. Uh -huh. A-M. Uh -huh. We are starting off dinner with a screwdriver. He wants her to stay there. Right, we've got a medium rare pork steak along with some potatoes. he wants her to move in. Alright friends. We just ended dinner. Definitely a different experience. Um, <clears throat> the service isn't that great here. We literally took so it took everything took so long, um, and I never like actually got a bill for the drinks that I had. <laughs> um, so that was weird. But we are done with dinner, and now we are heading back to the water hole, where hopefully, just hopefully. We'll see a lot of cool animals tonight. Rhino taking a dookie. Rhino is taking a dookie. So currently we are looking at our first of the trip. It's very stealthily traveling behind the water hole. Yeah, it's currently stopped. So right now we have a rhino in the watering hole. And I think that they may see each other. So right now we have a hyena right here in the center. And all these giraffes are staring at the hyena. And the hyena is staring at this baby rhino. for watching and